This week on the Storycraft Society, I'm painting a miniature. Wait, what do you want me to do? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Garmin. I'm Olivia. And this is the Storycraft Society. And this week, our friends over at Dungeon Lair sent us their new gray to play brushes. This is an affordable brush set that they just released. And I'll just be honest, I'm not a painter. And these brushes look like they are ready for miniature painting. So therefore, Olivia, who not only paint, but paint good. Yikes. So at first glance, the thing that I notice is that they seem very, very long. I typically use Anna Mason from Rosemary & Co. And the ferrule is much shorter. I feel like when I get close to the model, I like to have that short tip. The longer tips tend to make my perception off whack. So that's the only thing that I'm thinking that may be a challenge when I do the model, but I'll be interested to see. Yeah, and I mean, they're synthetic brushes and I think primarily you use synthetic brushes, yep. although your Squid Mars are not. They are not. And they are also a little on the shorter side too. So I tend to use those for detail work very frequently. So I will, I will be interested to see. Don't judge too much. Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> And don't judge a paintbrush by its ferrule length. It's not yeah. the length of the ferrule, it's the... Also, we just got back from the beach. And of course, our beach trip all the way down is hitting a whole bunch of awesome game stores. And we did pick up a whole bunch of miniatures that Olivia now has to paint. And... Uh, every, every year? Every single year. And they always get painted. Every single one of them. Every year. From our selection, I think this is the model that she decided that she wanted to paint. Yep. It's going to be one of the bad guys from our D&D campaign. So I'm excited as a DM for her to paint it up. Hopefully you're excited to paint it. I'm very excited to paint it. I just don't have the comfort of my usual brushes. I'm doing something new. So let's hope. Let's hope it turns out. Let's hope it turns out. Let's get to the paint table. So now that I'm actually sitting down and looking at the brushes in this brighter light and comparing it to my other brushes, the ferrule itself on this brush is actually shorter than the Anna Mason's, but the Squidmar brushes actually have a shorter ferrule than this brush. So it, I guess as clarification, it's the tip alone that is much longer than what I'm used to working with. And I think that's what's gonna make this more complicated for me, but we'll see how it goes. So so here is my primed model. And just so you're aware of what my process is with this, I use spray primers, typically the Citadel. So I use the Chaos Black, the Gray Seer, and the Wraithbone. But I first prime the entire model in black, and then I use Gray Seer on top of the black, but I'm just kind of hitting the front angle and the back angle kind of all around, but I'm just hitting those higher spots. And then finally I'll use Wraithbone and I actually just do one or two sprays right at the top to give that Zenithal highlight and just hit those really high points. Hopefully you can see it, but you should be able to see the real darks and then the real brights of the model. But that's enough talking about this. Let's actually dive into painting it. So what I'll do is actually get a couple coats on here and I'll stop and check in with you guys and show you what the progress has been. So here's the check-in so far on what I have done. I've done his boots and his main robe area as well as the little shawl around him. All of that is just base coat and wash at this point. I haven't done any highlighting. But as far as putting the base coats on and the washes, I've been using the number three brush and it seems to actually be doing pretty well. Part of it is I use uh, contrast paints and instant colors, which already you know, kind of fall into the crevices easily anyway, but the brush and the really sharp tip seems to help move all of the paint into those locations that I want them to be. So, so far they've been doing really nice. We'll see how the uh, highlighting and the more detailed work goes, but so far it's what I got. 
So I went with this culty boy theme. I went with the, the red and purple color scheme. I used these brushes primarily with contrast paints, instant colors, and speed paints. Although I used all of them, I typically use the contrast paints and the speed paints for if I really want a lot of color. They seem to have a lot of pigment in them. So I used a lot of that for the red, but the instant colors tend to, I don't know that they have less pigment, but they tend to blend a little bit nicer. Colors are a little bit more muted. So there's just a, a better usage for those at certain times. So it's worth mentioning with these brushes, that's what paint I was primarily using. I did use regular acrylic paint for like highlighting and detail work. From what I experienced, they held all three of those different paints really, really well. It was still a challenge for me to use the longer tips, but ultimately I was able to, to make it work and kind of get the hang of it. I mean, I would highly recommend them. I didn't notice anything that was, you know, hard to work with or deal with other than just my, my preference of having that smaller tip versus the longer tip. But um, other than that, I, th I thought they were great. I decided to paint a set instead of just focusing on the main guy. The motto of Dungeon Layer is gray to play. So the point is to get all of your gray plastic painted and out on your table. I'm not saying this is the best work I've ever done. I was just trying to use the brushes and get a basic idea of the feel and how the paint applies to the models. So within the time frame that we had to film all this. YouTube um, sucks. <laughs> it, it, it. You have a window that you have to film a video in, and yep. uh, so she was definitely struggling with yeah, not so, being able to spend the amount of time that she wanted to to get them done. Yeah, I will say that if I had more time to spend on them, I think I could really get them looking pretty good. But with the time that we had, I think they turned out fine. They're ready to be put on the table. So, so let's go with some dungeon layer theming for these brushes, right? So number one, they want them to be quality and affordable. Now, mm -hmm. when they sent us the information on these brushes, they did not give us a price, at least I don't think so. If that's wrong, hopefully they correct me in the comments down below. As far as quality goes. I, I think they're great. Like I said, I didn't notice anything, you know, with working with them. The, br the bristles really held their, their shape. I even had a couple times of taking them over and cleaning them out and the tips went right back to the way that they were. So I think they're great quality. Nice. Ergonomic grip and handle. Those are great. Again, I work with Anna Masons from Rosemary & Co and they don't have these grips on theirs. So it was a new concept to me, but they're very, very nice. Do you feel like it made a difference? Maybe. Um, honestly, I mean, holding holding the brushes themselves was different from what I'm used to anyway. I wouldn't say that it was worse or better. It was just different for me. So if you're used to working with brushes like this, I mean, the feel was great. It, it, it didn't hold me back. Nice. And then there mm -hmm. are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different sizes. How many of those did you actually use? I used three. I typically use the shorter tips anyway, so I didn't really aim towards the bigger ones, but that's just my personal preference. If I was painting bigger models, I would have definitely used the, the bigger brushes. So. so then maybe, maybe the, like the nine brush set is nice, but if there was like an entry level where you only got three of the like most used sizes, that might be an interesting thing, mm -hmm. but definitely they are making sure you have all the brushes that you could possibly need Yes. Uh, with that particular thing. Lots but of variety. Obviously here at the Storycraft Society, we love the theme of do things to get your models on the table, mm -hmm. get playing, get using them and, uh, we couldn't be more excited to get to show off these brushes. Hey, and I accomplished four. Five. Sorry, five math numbers. This, our family is not, you've watched this channel before, hopefully. Yes. Math is not. Not our strong suit. Nope, nope, um, even small numbers. It's amazing we play Dungeons and Dragons where we roll dice and have to do math because. Well, we have a lot of friends who kind of help. Help with that. But Corey, anyway, shout out. <laughs> anyway, I did five models and um, that's kind of the goal. So, you know, I got five models out that I didn't already have. And But that's it for this week's video. Thank you again so much to Dungeon Layer for sending these brushes over. Hopefully you'll get use out of them in the future. Do. Um, maybe, you know, we, we can end up talking more about it if it comes up relevant in later 
videos if anything yeah. changes. But if you enjoyed this video, hopefully you did, do all of the YouTube things like subscribe to the channel, that helps. You can leave a comment down below of what you think of these brushes. What are your favorite brushes to use? Are they like quick and affordable or are they more like you buy one really nice brush and you focus on that until you wear it out? That kind of stuff is always good mm -hmm. to know what people's preferences are. Like this video if you did, of course. And the number one way that you can help out a small YouTube channel is to share their videos with a friend that you think would enjoy it. For all of you that do that, I cannot say thank you enough. Kitos, kitos, toda la palion. We're not quite there yet, but yes, that's the end of the video, so. Moika. <laughs> Moika. Until next week, I'll be seeing you. That's the that's the outro line. That's what I say every week. I thought it was Moika.